everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and uh, so <laughs> my book is out! I'm still freaking out, oh my god. So I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my uh, favorite things about the book, um, and that is that it's available on Audible. I have been talking about Audible for years now, okay? So I am proud to say I am recommending my book on Audible. If you use audible.com slash Tyler Oakley, you can get my book free. Do you want that? You can get, you can, you can, it's yours. It's here. Mm. And you may be wondering, why would I get the audiobook? Well, if you'd like me to tell you all my stories right into your little ears, uh, <laughs> that's a little weird. It's like I'm whispering sweet nothings to you. I can do that. And I feel like the best way to show you what you could possibly get if you get my book on Audible, which you should, uh, is by reading you a little bit of a chapter. Would you like that? I can go get the book. It's on my shelf with all the rest of my other YouTuber books. Um, there you go. <clears throat> Dial up delight. My carnal thirst has always been unquenchable, but when I was growing up, it was out of control. And with no cute boys ready and willing at my disposal, I turned to man's other best friend, porn. I vividly remember my first glimpse of adult content. I was in my single digits at my grandma Oakley's place, a shabby trailer home occupied by my grandma, my uncle, my older cousin, and their dog, Peanut. My cousin was either in a goth or a juggalo phase, my uncle had a mustache and often asked family members to pull his finger whenever he had to fart, Peanut was a balding poodle, and my grandma spent all day on her new computer, sending e-cards to distant relatives. You can't pick your family, but if I could, I would still pick this motley crew. The day I saw the first erect penis that wasn't attached to me, I was wasting time playing Battletoads on Nintendo with my cousin. In between levels, he looked at me and asked the question that turns every boy into a man. Want to see some boobs? My time had come. <laughs> like, the, okay, so I, here's the thing. When I was recording the audiobook, it was just like me giggling to myself and like, I, that's what you're gonna get. So that's, I mean, okay, sorry, I'll continue. He closed the doorway beads that separated his carpeted room from the linoleum kitchen to give us a little bit more privacy. Quietly, he fished out a magazine from the laundry basket. Sitting on the edge of his bed, we opened up this holy scripture, and I sat in awe. In between pages of articles and advertisements, I saw it all. Big-breasted women in lace outfits, spread-eagled and grinning. We flipped through the pages in silence until one particular picture, small and in the corner, caught my eye. There she was, a literal goddess, naked, poised, and perfect. The picture was taken from above, she was on her back, just her face showing, making smoldering eye contact with the camera. Her entire aura communicated one clear and unified message to eight-year-old Tyler Oakley. Envy me, you closeted little gay boy languishing in small town Michigan, for I have everything you could ever desire. It was undeniably true. She had it all. I most admired this woman not due to her flawless complexion or her flowing hair, though both did look amazing, but because she had literally a dozen dicks coming at her from every angle. It was as though she were beset by a school of inquisitive lampreys. Google it. I once had to dissect one in middle school. If that's too horrifying, you could imagine that she was the baby son in Teletubbies, but her normally luminous rays were now engorged and veiny. You're welcome for that imagery. Now don't get me wrong, I don't normally measure a woman's worth by the number of erections currently on her face. That said, I can't pretend that I wasn't jealous. I gawked at the picture of the unforgivably selfish dick order, and I held firm to the pages while my cousin tried to flip to the next. She was in heaven, and I was high on just her fumes. I knew, then and there, with the Battletoads music droning in the background, what my dreams were for this life and who I was meant to be. With an abrupt clattering, the door beads divided and my grandma shuffled in as both of us scrambled to hide the goods. Grandma Oakley knew what was up demanded the contraband, and began screaming in exasperation. I sat, dazed, thinking about the ineffable, otherworldly goddess of dick. I could not unsee what I had seen. My time with the magazine may have been short, but it left a permanent impression I needed to see more penis. And it goes on about all my other adventures with pornography. So, uh, that's, <laughs> I think, the third chapter. It's like, a, it's a PG-13 book, okay? It's not like it's gonna get super incredibly 
horrifyingly graphic. I mean, mom, don't listen to the book because I talk about things that I maybe don't want you to listen to. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see my latest video, click right there. It was the day the book came out and I did like a little day in the life. It was a crazy, crazy day, so you click that. If you want to hear the latest podcast, click right there. If you want to be my person of the week, click right there. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fabulous life and check the description for more details about everything. I love you and I'm going to the UK next week for tours, so I hope I see you there. Okay, that's all. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! That airplane is not in my audiobook. That is... <laughs> Can I help you?